it's the highlight of my year. I look forward to this all year long. Good mates, we've all known each other since we were at school. It's just a brilliant weekend, we love it. Uh, for me, it's the, it's the young bands that uh, are uh, full of energy and uh, Guild School. 30 year anniversary, not 40 year anniversary. Dead Daisies? Michael Schenker. Definitely Michael Schenker. Absolutely astounding last night, brilliant, followed up by Schenker. Could not go wrong for a decent night, can you? But it's going to be Saxon tonight. It's going to be Saxon all the way. Uh, Phil Campbell, really good as well, Rock Gordes. Yeah, it's great. And it's just brilliant here. The people, the punters listening to the music, it's all great. And anybody who's in any doubt, 
Get to Yarmouth next year. Dee Snyder, come on. Needs to be done. Rock and roll, baby.
Caravan, thought they were a really good Icelandic yeah. band, really cool. And Voodoo Blood were really good Voodoo yesterday. Blood with a screaming young lady, she, she was really good. <laughs> really got the audience in her hand, didn't she? She was yeah. good. Yeah. Mr. Campbell, Mr. Campbell, um, um, Mr. Campbell. We come for the people. Yeah, it's all about the company. Well, my husband saw Saxon last night, he loved it. He didn't get into half him, and he had a great time. Michael Schenker was a masterclass of everything that was absolutely brilliant about 80s metal. The weekend's been amazing, you know, as, as people know this is the last time between now and the prog gig we've got next week um, of being in Puffwelly in Gwynedd, North Wales. Obviously our, our colleagues here at um, this particular park are going in a different direction with their proposition and we must do the same with ours, you know, because, you know, we shake hands and we move on. But sometimes, you know, I'm a big believer in fate and I think, um, you know, this is a holiday, you know, um, and holidays should be special and holiday, you should look forward to holiday. And, you know, it's, you could be one of these people that go to Spain every year, but you're never going to turn around and say, oh, I'm not going to go to America, there's another four hours flying, you know what I mean? And no matter where you go, there's always going to be a, an hour more or an hour less or whatever. But the important thing is what the end experience is, you know. Um, so it gave us a challenge in the last three and a half months to find out where the new Camp HRH is going to be. Um, in March, we're going to another um, haven site up there, um, which they've kindly um, got involved with, uh, up at Prestatin, which is cool for AOR and Hammerfest. AOR is going to be really special because obviously UFO is doing their very last tour there and Hammerfest is always such a great, great bit of fun, you know, along there. But, you know, we've got to look forward. And looking forward, we've got this new five-star holiday resort, which is purposely built for events. Um, there's no owners, so we don't get all the, you know, any issues with noise levels or the HRH wall of sound or anything else um, that, you know, happens when you mix up with people who are on private holidays and things like that. This is exclusively for us. There's a lot more facilities. Accommodation is probably a bit better. Um, and there's more rooms, you know, and the main arena is bigger as well. Different look, different feel. We're going to have real good fun building our sort of like special production into that and making it, you know, an HRH village, really, you know. Um, so that's kicking off next year with um, Hard Rock Health 13, which went on sale yesterday and sold out today, which is great, you know. So those people are lucky enough to get tickets, you know. Dee Snyder, Michael Monroe, Doro, Buck Cherry, Gunn, um, Diamond Head. It's, there's plenty there. Basically, what everybody voted for, they, they, exactly, they got exactly what they wanted.
That was wild. Just to, just to see somebody who was part of the original lineup, and uh, you know, and it was really nice that they gave like a shout out to Rick Parfit as well. Yeah, it's really cool. Come, come along, watch them all. Woo!